there are certain styles that I review that just to be honest, before I even open the box, before I put it on my head, I pretty much know if I'm gonna like it or if I'm not. To be fully transparent, I don't wear a lot of Rene of Paris wigs. This is one of their brand new styles. And I gotta tell you, I was shocked. So because I don't wear a lot of Rene of Paris wigs, I'm also not very familiar with their color selection. And this is called Caramel Swirl. This color is absolutely stunning, stunning. Let me tell you what I did to make it look like this, okay? Number one, I always break the zigzag part, right? So this has a left-handed monofilament part. What I will tell you is that breaking the zigzag part was a little bit more challenging, but let me grab this. I just take my water bottle and I spray it along the zigzag part. That was very helpful. When I broke the part without using the water, the fibers kind of wanted to go back into that zigzag pattern. That doesn't happen with all wigs. It did happen with this one, but I wanted to share it with you. But honestly, this is so easy. And look at the illusion of scalp. Like it, it looks really good. I put this wig out of its box yesterday, okay? I filmed an unboxing. And the other thing that I was finding is that these fibers right at the front here were wanting to fall forward a little bit. All I did was I took that same water bottle, I spritzed water along the front, I took these, this section and this section and I pinned it back. I just used clips like this and I pinned it back and I just left it overnight. So I just popped this wig on after it's sitting overnight with these front sections pinned back and voila, it's perfect. And maybe I'm living under a rock, but I didn't know that Rene of Paris makes styles in heat defiant synthetic fiber. So if I had wanted to, when I pinned this back, I could have applied heat, but I wanted to see how it would respond without even, you know, applying heat, just simply pinning it back and see how it turned out and responded and it was perfect. But if you do want to apply heat to this style, maybe you want to straighten it, maybe you want to add more curls, you absolutely can because this is made out of heat defiant synthetic fiber. If you know, I love an extended lace front. Leone has a lace front, but it is not extended. That was my other surprise. I always look at the transition between the lace and the ear tabs when there is not an extended lace. So the lace is done really well. It's melting into my skin. It looks really good. And even in the absence of having an extended lace front, you're not seeing that awkward transition between the lace and the ear tab. I was super impressed and it takes a lot to impress me. I'll share with you a tip. If you have brunette hair, even close to the color of the wig that you're wearing, you can simply pull, and if you have some bio hair, you can simply pull out the hair here. Hold on one second. Now, mine is dyed blonde right now, so it looks a little bit silly, but you could take this and pull out this part of your hair to incorporate it into the wig right? So if you're wearing your hair back, wearing a piece like this, this by pulling out some of your own bio hair, it just makes that look even more natural. Now, in this particular piece, because my hair is a different color, you know what, I guess I could incorporate it and it probably wouldn't even make a difference. So there's a tip for you. You can pull out your bio hair along the ear tabs, just like this and then incorporate it. So this is what I mean. Even though my hair is blonde, because this brunette has some lighter shades running through it, I could pull mine out and it's really not a big deal. So we're just gonna leave it that way. I love this color caramel swirl. So it is a warm caramel color, right? And then you've got chocolate brown running throughout it. And then you've got those honey blonde highlights. So it's a really beautiful dimensional brunette. I love this color. And see, they have brought some of the lighter shades up to the front in the mix, but not so much that you get that stripe along the front. They've done a great job with this color. 
I have another Renee of Paris wig that I'm about to show you. And I'm so glad that I said to my friends at Wigs by Patty's Pearls, I'm like, you know what? Just surprise me on color. I'm so glad they picked this color. It is perfect. Forgot to mention, it is a rooted shade, but as you can see, it's a really natural root. So this style comes in an average size cap. I have a 22 inch circumference head. The adjusters are almost out to the end, but it's fitting me really comfortably. So I would say it absolutely fits true to average. Why don't I do a turn so that I can show you Leone on all sides. But first I did wanna mention density. I would say that this is medium density, okay? It's not low density, it's not high density, it falls somewhere in the middle. And remember, this here, that's my bio hair, okay? So here is my, there's my right side, and the back with all the hair at the back, my left hand side, and back to the front. This wig weighs 5.4 ounces, which is pretty typical for a wig of this length. The front sections here range anywhere between nine and a half and 12 and a half. So you can see all of those layers. So when you're looking at the measurements, it's making sense. The crown measures between 12 and a half and 14 inches. And then the nape is 12 inches. Let me show you the inside of the cap, all right? Here is that left-handed monofilament part. What I love about it is how wide it is. So there's a lot of parting flexibility given how wide that left-handed monofilament part is. And then the lace front, and as I mentioned, it is not running into the ear tabs, but that transition from lace to ear tab is done really well. Then you've got felt covered ear tabs, wefted sides, back. It does have an extended nape. And then these are like bra strap like adjusters. So you can see with my 22 inch circumference head, I have these almost all the way out. I did want to remind you that if you have a petite head circumference and you have fallen in love with an average size cap wig that doesn't come in petite, I did want to let you know and remind you that Wigs by Patty's Pearls actually has a customization service where they can take a cap down by one size. So for example, a large to an average or an average to a petite, they can't do the opposite. They can't go from petite to average or average to large, but I did wanna make sure that you are aware of that service that they provide. As always, you can find this piece at wigsbypattiespearls.com. Be sure to save 30% with my discount code Erin, E-R-Y-N-N -N 30. Stay well and stay safe. Bye everybody.